One of the significant benefits of using an irrigation system is the ability to deliver fertilizer directly to the plant root zone and create the optimal conditions for its growth. This process is called fertigation. In order to take advantage of this benefit, you need to know how to properly inject fertilizers using the drip system. There are four rules here. Rule number one, only water-soluble fertilizers are allowed to be used in drip irrigation systems. The second rule, when you're mixing fertilizers into your stock solution, you need to know which fertilizers can be mixed together and which cannot be mixed. Some fertilizers are not compatible and when mixed, they might form insoluble salts that can clog your irrigation system. The fertilizers that should not be mixed are phosphate with calcium fertilizers, sulfate with calcium fertilizers, magnesium with phosphate fertilizers. Rule number three. You need to know the amount of fertilizers that can be dissolved in the stock solution. This amount depends on the specific solubility of the fertilizer and the water temperature. In general, at higher water temperatures, more fertilizer can be dissolved. In cold water, a smaller amount of fertilizers should be mixed to ensure it will be fully dissolved. Here's the bottom line. The percentage of fertilizers in the stock solution that can be dissolved in the water tank will be affected by the solubility of the fertilizer and the water temperature. As a general rule of thumb, we recommend preparing a stock solution with concentration of no more than 20% of the fertilizer. Last but not least, rule number four, you need to know how to inject your stock solution into the irrigation system. We have a rule of thumb for this. Water before, water after. When you start the fertigation process, pressurize the system by flushing clean water without fertilizer. It's going to be approximately one quarter of the irrigation volume. Next, inject the fertilizer through the system. This will be approximately two quarters of the irrigation volume. Upon completing injection of fertilizers, continue irrigating with water only in order to wash all fertilizer residues from the system. This will be approximately one quarter of the irrigation volume as at the beginning. So for example, if you irrigate for four hours, the first hour of water will be without fertilizers. The next two hours will be with fertilizers. The last hour will be with clean water only. This procedure is the best way to ensure uniform distribution of the fertilizer over the entire soil surface and prevent residues of fertilizer in the irrigation system. After we learn how to properly use fertigation, let me show you a quick test that you can do before injecting your fertilizers to make sure it will not leave residue in the irrigation system. The jar test. Place in a jar the same relative amount of water and fertilizer you would use in your stock solution. Stir the fertilizer in the jar. If it emits residues and doesn't dissolve immediately, it means this mix cannot be used with a drip system. If it does dissolve, wait for another 24 hours and observe. If it dissolves completely and there's still no residue, it means the mix is safe to use with the drip system. So, to make a long story short, if you're using Netafim's irrigation system for fertigation, you should stick to these four rules and you'll be able to enjoy the irrigation system's greatest advantage, providing your crops with the optimal conditions for growth.